Welcome to Miami, Florida. This is Hank with the PR52 YouTube channel for the Bobcat Conference Championship game between the Miami Riptide and the Portland Snowhawks here on Fox. Both of these teams won their respective divisional round games and they're heading on to find out who is going to face the Buffalo Stampede in the best tech mobile here for the coin toss. Eric Pegram is coming back from injury and the Portland Snowhawks will call it in the air. And they call tails. Miami Riptide gets heads. They elect to receive. And Eddie Murray will kick off to begin the Bobcat Conference Championship game. And this game is underway, end over end. Ricky Prohl will return it to the 27-yard line. And the first play will be a handoff to Mark Higgs. He gains about 7 yards to the 34-yard line. Jim Everett was the quarterback for the Riptide. 3,742 passing yards, 23 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Second and three for the Miami Riptide. Handoff to Jerome Bettis. And Jerome Bettis parks it to around the 40-yard line of the Miami Riptide. These are the offensive linemen for the Miami Riptide. As they will have a first and 10 play. Jim Everett back. And he is incomplete left to Fred Barnett. Had him a little bit open, but eventually got double covered at the end of that route. Second and 10, Everett hands the ball off to Jerome Bettis, and he makes it five yards to the 45-yard line of the Miami Riptide. Cornelius Bennett, Howie Long, Andy Harmon, Greg Townsend, and Aaron Wallace are the defensive linemen for the Portland Snowhawks. Everett back, steps up. And he will run to around the 42-yard line. Tony Bennett and Al Smith are the inside linebackers for the Portland Snowhawks. Jim Everett running around 13 yards to the Portland 42-yard line. First and 10 at the Portland 42. Motion man. Handoff to Mark Higgs, and he loses one yard. Dave Wehmer, Dennis Smith, Eugene Robinson, and Washington are the defensive backs for the Portland Snowhawks. Second and 11. Jim Everett back, throws it over the middle to Mark Higgs, and that is the first completion of the game for Jim Everett. That is a 15-yard completion to Mark Higgs. Mark Higgs and the, and the backs for the Miami Riptide have get, been getting involved really quickly in this game. First and 10 around the 28-yard line. Handoff to Jerome Bettis, and Jerome Bettis gains about five yards to the left. To round the Portland 23. Second and five for the Miami Riptide. Everett back. Surveys the field. Steps up. He runs out of the pocket. And he is tackled. The ball is fumbled. And it is recovered by the Portland Snowhawks. Big play early by the Snowhawks. And a missed opportunity for Miami because you want to get points on every drive. And, and that was just an unfortunate fumble for, uh, for a guy who's had a pretty good season in Jim Everett. First and 10, Troy Aikman under center. He goes back, steps up, and he is sacked by David Griggs. Big play for the Miami Riptide. Troy Aikman was the MVP of season two. 4,500 passing yards, 39 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Congratulations to him. Aikman back, second and three. Three minutes and 24 seconds in the game. He throws it over the middle to Mark Logan, his fullback for about 20 yards to the Portland 36-yard line. Surveying the field by Troy Aikman. Sees his open re uh, his receiver on the check down. And Mark Logan does a really good job. Those are the offensive linemen for the Snowhawks. Aikman the handoff to Eric Pegram, loss of one. Pegram, Logan, Ernest Givens, Alvin Harper. They are the skill players for the Portland Snowhawks. Aikman, play action, roll out, bootleg. Throws the ball over the middle to his receiver, Ernest Givens. And Ernest Givens gets it down to the 27-yard line. Big play. Fred Stokes, Richard Dent, Sam Clancy, Pierce Holt, and Chris Martin are the line and, and outside linebackers for the Miami Riptide. 
Ernest Givens was wide open over the middle. I don't know why you want to leave that guy open. It seems like a huge mistake. And he gets them into good field position. First and 10 for the Snowhawks. Handoff to Eric Pegram. And Eric Pegram gains four yards to the Miami 23. Not to Tua Tagaloa is the linebacker with David Griggs who had that sack on Aikman on the first play of the Portland series. Second and six. Aikman back. He throws it deep to Ernest Givens. It's incomplete over the middle. Brian Washington, Chuck Cecil, Henry Jones, and Robert Massey are the defensive backs for the Miami Riptide. Third and six. Two minutes left. Aikman throws it over the middle to Ernest Gibbons, and it's incomplete, barely out of his reach. Tough play for him to make, but Aikman's got to have that if you're the MVP. Field goal for Eddie Murray at the 31-yard line. Ball is spotted, kick is away, and the 41-yard field goal is good by Eddie Murray. 3-0 lead here by the Portland Snowhawks. Eddie Murray kicks the ball off, end over end, and it'll be returned by Ricky Prohl to the 13-yard line of the Riptide. Jerome Bettis gets the handoff up the middle. He gains about uh, five yards or so. Jerome Bettis had the most rushing touchdowns of running backs, 28. Handoff to Jerome Bettis, and Jerome Bettis gets the first down. Moves the chains very nicely. Great blocking, and he's able to get by the corner to get the first down. First and 10, motion man. Handoff to Mark Higgs, and he loses five yards to the 19. Goes uh, around back to the original line of scrimmage uh, bef previously. Second and 15, Jerome Bettis with the handoff. He gains five yards. Excuse me, he makes it back to the original line of scrimmage. Didn't seem like the cornerbacks were anticipating him running down the left side. We got third and 10. Everett back. He'll step up. He'll throw incomplete down the left side to uh, Fred Barnett. And he hasn't been able to get on the same page with his receivers, which is really unfortunate for Jim Everett. We'll have Sean Landetta, 4th and 10. He'll punt, and the punt will go to Tom Waddle, end over end. And he will return it at around the 10, and he will make it to around the 18-yard line, 1st and 10 for the Portland Snowhawks. Troy Aikman steps up into the pocket. He runs with about 40 seconds left. He will gain about one yard out to the 19 yard line of the Portland Snowhawks. Second and nine, Aikman back. He'll throw down the left side and he completes it to Ernest Givens. Great job by Ernest Givens catching that ball for 26 yards to around the 45-yard line. Great job by Ernest Givens, who's done a, an amazing job this season. He's been the best uh, receiver for Aikman. First and 10, Mark Logan runs up the middle for eight yards, and that will be the first quarter of action here at the Bobcat Conference Championship game. The Portland Snowhawks lead Miami three to nothing. 